So we're all sitting around in Mommy and Daddy's bed, and we decide you need to know the story of iTech <laughs> and Nate Saint. Okay, so Nate Saint, Jim Elliott, Pete Fleming, Roger Udarian, and Ed McCulley were all missionaries who went to the jungles of Ecuador, and they wanted to reach this group um, at what, the time. This is in the 1950s. Yeah, 1950s, so the story ends in 1956. Well, yes. Nate's Pretty, part of the story. <laughs> um, so they went down there. Most, All of them were married. Most of them had children. And there was this group called the Alcas, is what the Quechua Indians called them. And it meant naked savage. And they would spear people to death. White people, themselves, like their own tribe. They each just, other. If they each were other. Mad, if they were mad at somebody, they would, they would spear them in retaliation. So if you got, if someone in your family got speared by this other group, then they'd go spear you, and it was just spearing each other back and forth and lots and lots They were literally stuff. spearing themselves into, like, non-existence. Right. They, yeah. they were down to, like, 300 of them in the whole world. Oh, and then the fathers could have their children buried with them if mm-hmm. they were dying. So they I'm dying, bury my children with me. Bury my children with me. So the kids were dying because their fathers were taking them to the grave with them. Yep. So... So it was a really bad, bad situation. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> and Demonic, satanic, it was bad. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So they knew these missionaries wanted to reach the Alcas and knew that they could die, but wanted to do all they could to be a gospel presence and live at the same time. And so they, um, Nate Saint was a missionary pilot with Mission Mission Aviation Fellowship. And so they took his plane and would fly around and had a, he created this bucket drop system. So they would let out a ton of rope on, with a bucket at the end and fly over the Alka settlements and drop down gifts in the baskets. And then the Guarani or Alka actually ascended, ended up sending gifts back to the missionaries. And so they decided that it was time to make contact with the Indians on the ground. So the five missionaries flew in. Three of them stayed, like, in a treehouse um, yeah. nearby. On They had a beach set up where they could land the plane and put up a treehouse. And so they, three of the guys stayed there. Two of the other guys would fly back and forth, um, Nate and one other missionary. And so they were there one day, and two women... And a man came out from the tribe right. and came to them mm-hmm. on the beach. Um, two of them ended up leaving, and then the one Deli- Delilah stayed, right? <laughs> no, 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 not Delilah. No, Delilah Mintaka. left. Delilah Mintaka. left. With, with George, yeah. Um, yeah. Delilah so, and George left, and Mintaka stayed. Mintaka stayed, Delilah and George left. That His name's in Kiwi, not George, but they called him George. And, uh, bad, bad idea. So, uh, okay. George and... Um, Delilah. George and Delilah were not supposed to be alone together. <laughs> but they were. Hence why Mintaka was with them. But they ran off into the jungle. And they, she didn't feel like following them. <laughs> yeah, so she ended up staying with missionaries. There's this whole story made up that gets told back to the Indians about. Um, they tried to. That, um, they were going to eat them. The now. missionaries tried to eat them. So <laughs> they ended up they running away them. and being stuck in the jungle together with no supervisors. That's how they ended up a guy and so, a girl alone in a jungle. So together. they were trying to not get in trouble and ended up getting the mission. It was their, peril, their fault. So sexual morality is not only a problem in America. <laughs> oh, and did I mention that they all run around naked? Um, so that's they're hanging the term out. Naked savage. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's right. I didn't mention that. Um, <coughs> so that was. What day was that? So the tribe was Friday? lied to, and then men from the yeah, tribe like Friday, went maybe. to the beach on a Sunday, and they speared all the missionaries. Because yep. one of the missionaries called back to their base in Shelmira. Um, right? Shell? That's yeah. Yeah, Nate and, called back to March. Okay, so Nate called his wife and said that they checked, checked back in. 4.30. Yeah, it was like 4.30 that they were He saw the in. people coming and said, hey, they're coming for a worship service. <laughs> they, um... All got speared. The missionaries fired like a warning shot into the air. They didn't want to kill anybody, um, but they did fire a warning shot, and all of them were killed. They ended up telling the wives um, that they sent out search parties, found the bodies. Um, and so Steve Saint is Nate's son, and he was five yeah. when it happened. Um, and he, the only thing he didn't understand was why Daddy didn't come back to take them with him to heaven. That was his thing at five. Um, so they, Nate had three kids. Pete had, sorry, Jim had a daughter. Um, there were some other kids involved. 
Um, Jim's wife is Elizabeth Elliot. Yeah, you've probably heard of Elizabeth Elliot. That's Jim's wife. Um, and so later, there had been before a girl came out of the tribe. Um, Diola. Diola, sorry. For some reason, her name was escaping me. Her sister um, was Delilah. Okay, so... Right. Delilah from the beach, her sister Dioma had escaped from the tribe and had taught these missionaries some phrases, or Nate's sister some phrases, um, and I think Jim, in Waodani, and or Wachadetto. So they were calling out to the Indians to say things like, we are your friends, that sort of thing. Um, so later, two women from this tribe also escaped, and... Jim Elliot's wife heard about them and went to meet them. And they said, please come back and live with our tribe. And she's like, well, they, they speared my husband. Why aren't they going to spear me and my daughter if we move back in? And you're women. Yeah, they're, they're women, and they were going to tell them not to spear anybody. So they had ended up moving back into the tribe along with Nate Saint's sister. Um, and many of the tribe became Christians. And I and Ayama Mintaka, who was the older lady at the beach. Yeah, and... Yeah. Mankamu. Mankamu. So, multiple people moved into the tribe and um, brought the gospel, learned their language, wrote out their language. Um, the first time their language had ever been written. Like, they invented a, a written language for Wotanato and then gave them a Bible years later. Like... Many years later. Yeah, it, it, it takes a while to do the whole Bible from no written language, but yeah, Elizabeth, <laughs> yeah, um, they found ways to explain the gospel, even in like culturally relevant ways. Yeah. Um, so the Waodani had this thing where if you were if somebody was being speared, the father would go on ahead and he would mark a trail as he's escaping through the jungle, and his family would follow these markings and come to where their father was. And so they related that to God has left his markings, which would be the Bible, so that we can follow them, and you should be a God follower and come to the place, come to the father's place by following his trail. Um, and so that sort of thing. And... So they got the gospel. Many of the people who were involved in the attacks on the beach and speared them actually became Christians. And but Steve Saint, yeah. so Nate's sister, Rachel, had gone and lived with the tribe and gave them a language and everything. And then she also brought Steve, Nate's son, with her a couple times. And then when he got older, he moved in with the tribe and his wife and kids lived with them for a while. And grew to love the people yeah. who speared his, his father to death. <laughs> so Nate's grandson, Jamie, treated Minkai, who had killed Nate, almost like a grandfather. Like, yeah. they were totally part of the tribe. Yeah. They all have, um, like, they have tribal names, um, and they would live among them. And so ITEC, in, which is like 40 minutes from your house, um, is Steve Saint made a organization to help people like the Waodani, which is, they've always been the Waodani, the other tribe called them the Alkas, um, but Waodani means, like, true, true people, or we, the people, yeah, we, yeah, we, we the, people, the people, we're the people, that sort of thing, um, and so it's to help groups like the Waodani learning to do their own dental care, doing their own flying machines, um, they take care of themselves, like, yeah, very self-sustaining. To preserve their things. culture, but Christian. <laughs> yeah, so... To Christianize, their, like, to honor their traditions, but not, like, their religion. And that kind of thing. Right. I mean, they make them wear so, clothes and stuff, yeah, but other than that, they don't impose American traditions on them. Right. Yeah. So that's the story of Nate Saint and Jim Elliot. So missionaries went down, ended up getting speared, but their families were able to move back in and get the gospel to them. Sorry. Babies, that's right. I was trying to button him. Um... <laughs> So that was story, but the thing about that has nothing to do with eye tech. Yeah, that has like nothing to. Do. That's the that's that's a thirty way years before eye tech. So then eye tech come along. Steve Saint, <laughs> so Nate's son Steve started eye tech to help indigenous peoples. Yes, hey, there you go. Summary statement. <laughs> that's why we want to bring you to eye tech. So there's the story. It's an awesome place. Mm-hmm. 